This is Smiles TV. Welcome to Smiles Television Talk Show. I'm your host, Stephanie Anthony Miles, and this is a special episode of Healthy Smiles. This is Nicole Plaggy, Communication Specialist for Touche Regional Hospital in Centerville, Illinois. Today's Smiles TV will spotlight our Behavioral Health and Wellness Center. Mental illness touches all walks of life, and everyone, regardless of their financial or social status, deserves the best care as they battle their disease. Our Behavioral Health and Wellness Center offers inpatient and outpatient care for teens and adults. Thank you, Smiles TV, for giving us the opportunity to share our services with you. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Healthy Smiles, sponsored by Touche Regional Hospital. I have the pleasure of sitting here with Dr. Desiree Holmes, who is over the Behavior Health Services Center at Touche Regional Hospital. Dr. Holmes, thank you for allowing us to come into your space and just chat with you for a few moments. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for inviting me. I appreciate it. And you know, we were talking earlier and I was, I, we were joking around because you actually look like you need your own show. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you for giving me some tips on some things. But you know what, Dr. Um, Holmes, you are over a very, very um, precious, I guess I would say, department, Behavior right. Health Services. Right. First, if you will, tell us a little bit about your background and um, how you got to Touche Regional Hospital. So first of all, my background as a clinical psychologist, initially when I started off, I started in child and adolescent, um, specialized with a specialty in post-traumatic stress disorder, specifically with sexual assault and sexual abuse. So I've done everything from infant mental health and working the lifespan to, um, to geriatrics. But again, my specialty has been with children and adolescents and young adults. What brought you to Touche Regional Hospital? How did you pick um, this as being your place to offer your services? I'm familiar with the Metro East area. Um, first of all, my, my church, where I attend church service, is an affiliate of New Salem um, Baptist District here in East St. Louis. So I know a lot of people through that. And then formerly, I worked with a agency and East St. Louis and Washington Park, the surrounding areas was my service area. So I knew the area and I knew the area well. So when I went back um, to school and got my um, graduate degrees and went back and got my doctorate degree, I knew that I wanted to come back to this area. Mm -hmm. And the other reason is, is because I strongly believe that people, all people, have a right to quality health care. They have a right to the best, to the brightest. Uh, Marion Elderman Wright once said some years ago that she encouraged America to go back to school and educate themselves. She encouraged people to become the best and the brightest, to use their talents and their gifts and whatever their proclivities to come back into the local neighborhoods and communities and to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. So wow. I want it to be here. Well, let me ask you this. What do you think helps Touche Regional Hospitals Behavioral Health Services stand out from others in the region? We have a large segment of our staff is from the area, so they not only work here at Touche Regional Hospital, um, many of our staff live in the immediate area or have family connections to the immediate area, so they're trying to support and to give back by working in a place that they either grew up in or currently live in. Um, also attracting highly qualified. So mm -hmm. we try to do the best job that we can do by selecting individuals that are highly qualified, highly trained, that meet the mission and the vision of Touche Regional Hospital, that they want to create a center of excellence because they value that intrinsic value of being excellent within themselves. How do you help patients feel comfortable? You know, behavior health is a, is a sensitive issue. It is. And a lot of times people don't even want to acknowledge that it's in existence or that there can be help. True. How do you assist individuals in feeling comfortable with receiving the needed services? First of all, we, um, as you know, we have just um, reconstructed the behavioral health, the physical um, department. 
we put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy, um, a lot of money into redesigning. So we have a brand new design, a brand new layout, state of the art. Um, it's color coded. We made sure that we put in um, lighting that would light up. We de-institutionalize that whole entire look so it has a look that doesn't make a person coming onto the unit feel like they're tucked away, they're shut away, they're locked away. Um, even though we have security measures put in place, we do make sure that people are comfortable here, they like the environment, um, we have three levels of care. We have acute care, we have fragile care, and then we have a general population so that enables us to better meet the needs mm -hmm. of the individuals. Um, people are just not thrown together. So we have, we recognize that there are various levels of care. We meet those various levels of care. And then we make sure that our staff, like I said, that they're meeting the mission and the vision of Touche Regional Hospital, which is um, caring, professionalism, and respect. Wow. If individuals would like to make contact with you, how can they do that? First of all, you can, if you're interested in whether it's inpatient services or outpatient services, you can contact Timothy Lockett, which is our intake community um, liaison and coordinator. His telephone number is 618-660-0100. Or if you would like some more specific information just about the services in general, please feel free to contact me, Dr. Desiree Holmes, at Touche Regional Hospital Behavioral Health at 618-332-5346. You know what, Dr. Holmes, we touched on a lot of topics. However, I'm just wondering, is there anything that you can think of that may need, need to be shared that we just have not had the chance to talk about? I think the biggest takeaway message that I'd like to give um, the community is that one, Touche Regional Hospital provides an absolutely outstanding service. We provide the best possible care, psychiatric care, um, specifically because that's my department, but in general we provide outstanding care in general. Um, we have psychiatrists that are amazing, we have nurses, um, registered nurses, LPNs, psych techs, psych aides. We have activity therapists. We have licensed um, adult and adolescent therapists. We just have an amazing staff. And so we want the community to know that when you come here, you're going to get quality care, no different than if you were to go to St. Louis. You know what I told you? She needs her own broadcast. <laughs> you know, we have Dr. Oz, but now we have Dr. Holmes. I'm really serious about that. One more time, allow our audience um, the opportunity to contact you. Give that information again. Again, if you're looking for um, services, please, you can contact Timothy Lockett who is our intake coordinator and community liaison. His number is 618-660-0100. Or if you'd like more specific information, please feel free to call me, Dr. Desiree Holmes, at 618-332-5346. Dr. Desiree Holmes, thank you so much for spending time with Smiles Television Talk Show. Thank you. And I must ask this question. Yes, if you get the opportunity, mm -hmm. would you come back to Smiles? I would love to come back. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you, and I want to thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you for tuning in to Smile Television Talk Show. Tune in every Monday. We have a new broadcast coming up again. Remember, keep smiling. You look better when you smile, and only what you do for Christ will last. Amen. Hi, I'm Dr. Desiree Holmes, and I'm the Behavioral Health Director here at Touche Regional Hospital. And we are standing in the foyer of the outpatient services. And as you can see, when our clients come to us for outpatient services, this is the area that they come to first. And so the first person that they see is our um, outpatient services coordinator, Behavioral Health, Ms. Cheryl Berry, who is sitting here and doing what she does. And so this is where they come first. Um, and we have a very lovely person here who is able to meet and greet them and direct them. And so Cheryl is their first point of contact. And then, um, as you can see, we have it designed and set up so that we have lockers here. And this is where clients can come and lock up their personal belongings because we do get many people that come that might be homeless or maybe paranoid with leaving their belongings at the place of where they're staying. So they have the ability to go ahead and lock up their belongings here and then they can collect them after they leave. 
um, and then through this door, they will enter through this door, and then back through um, behind this door is where we actually provide our cycle group therapies for all of our clients. We have outpatient services for partial hospitalization, and that's dedicated to our active duty and retired military. And then we have our intensive outpatient services, and that's geared toward our adults 18 and over and our adolescents between ages of 12 and 17. This is Nicole Plegge, Communications Specialist with Touche Regional Hospital in Centerville, Illinois. Today, Smiles TV will spotlight our emergency department. When you experience a minor injury, a major accident, or a sudden illness, Touche's emergency department team is available 24 hours a day. We're here to provide you with fast, quality, and compassionate treatment. And we thank Smiles TV for giving us the opportunity to share our services with their audience. Welcome back to another episode of Healthy Smiles, sponsored by Touche Regional Hospital. We are sitting here with the charge nurse, or one of the charge nurses from the emergency department, and a department that we all need to become familiar with. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Vaughn, for Thank coming to, with, to Smiles TV Show. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. You know what? Um, it's an honor to be a part of this series that we're doing on Touche Regional Hospital. We are trying to highlight your great services and activities right here, so people can become a little bit more aware. That's right. Tell us, first of all, a little, a little bit about your background and where you're from. Okay. Um, I'm from East St. Louis. I'm 31 years old. I um, became an RN in 2014, but I was an LPN in 2006. Mm. Um, it's multiple nurses in my family, my mother, my uncle, my aunt. Um, we're basically a family of nurses, so it was only right that I got into the field. Wow, mm -hmm. and you know what, you shared something earlier, you, you went to Eastside, yes, East St. Louis in your high school, yes, and I did too, and yes, I'm not telling you the year <laughs> that I came out of, but you're a graduate of East St. Louis in your high school, yes, and so you're, you're a good model for our students to see, um, especially being a male nurse, Yes, ma'am. and yeah. um, do you uh, get a lot of talk about that today? or uh, About being a male nurse? About being I a male used nurse. to, mm -hmm. like um, when, we graduated <clears throat> when we graduated high school, I had a lot of friends who were going to work at... Um, the steel mills in Granite, and they thought that that was a manly job. I said, I'm just gonna work, I'm just gonna be a nurse, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're gonna go to work in the heat, I'm gonna go to work in the air condition, you know? And I'm not gonna really do hard labor, and I think that I would rather help people w rather than run machines or do forklifts and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I'm a people person, so I like to interact with people. That's good, and, and you have a, an opportunity to definitely do that in your emergency department. Yes, ma'am. Give us a little um, background on the emergency department and the, um, what do you see coming in and out and, and how it basically operates? Okay. So usually we're, um, we're a 14-bed facility. We used to be only nine beds, but we just had a renovation done in 2014. So um, since then, we, we get a lot of patients. We get a, a lot of patients. Um, we'll see anywhere from... 30 to 40 patients on a 12 hour shift basis, almost maybe 60 or 70 a day. Um, we see anything from the basic ouchies, as a kid would call it, all the way up to cardiac arrest, mm -hmm. to um, gunshots, traumas. Um, we basically see all, almost a lot of stuff. We see a lot of psych psychiatric patients as well. Do you? Mm -hmm. So as a charged nurse, um, give us an idea of what it looks like um, for you in a, in a day in a day. Um, a charge nurse day is very stressful, I will tell you that, um, because when you come to work, you also you have to manage the flow of the emergency room, you have to um, keep everything going, you have to assign the patients to nurses, you also help it out at the same time, and then when stuff gets backed up, you have to kind of go out to the waiting room and let everybody know that, hey, we're still working on trying to get everything done. Mm -hmm. um, we try to work in a timely manner as we possibly can, but from different acuity of patients' conditions. We can't always see people just back to back to back. So sometimes you have to explain to people what's going on while still doing your work and maintaining um, a professional attitude. Sometimes it could be a little tedious. Well, one good thing you have in your favor is that you're from the area. Yes, And I'm sure you run into a lot of people. A lot of people I know. Yeah, mm -hmm. so does that seem to really help? So Sometimes it helps and sometimes it doesn't. Um, I would say about 95% of the times mm -hmm. it helps because um, those people are more apt and more open to relate to you. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go in there and tell them something's going on, they'll say, okay, you know, 
Um, sometimes that it doesn't help is when, you know, you see one of your friends and they want you to bring them straight right, back. Right. I, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> one great thing that we found out is that, and you mentioned it, that there are more beds than there used to be. Because Correct. one thing we hate when we go to the emergency room is the long wait. Correct. And so that's, that's a good plus. If individuals need to make contact um, just to call the emergency room and they have questions, how can they do that? Okay, um, the emergency room number is 618-332-5481. And you can call anytime. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If we can't answer your question, we'll get you to the right department or resource to answer your question for you. But generally, we, we can get all your questions answered. Okay. Is there anything that we did not have an opportunity to discuss that, that you feel you want to make sure the community gets an opportunity to hear? Okay. Um, just like to let everyone know that Touche Regional is a very good hospital. Uh, one of the best qualities of it is that it's a small hospital, so the community is kind of tight. Um, we know most of our patients, we get a lot of the people, same people in. So we're more um, apt to work with you, mm -hmm. we, um, especially when we know you like that. Um, we, offer, we offer good resources. Um, we have an excellent psych program. We have an excellent outpatient program mm -hmm. for psychiatric patients. We do um, detox, which is um, the department is called New Vision. And that number is 618-332-5204. Okay. And they um, help people detox off of um, substances. I see. I so see. that's and that's a really good um, place to have because you know a lot of people really try mm -hmm. to get off of stuff like that, but no one will help them. So we have a program here for that, and it's a three-day program. And um, after the three days, we automatically refer you to like a thirty-day inpatient program. Okay. So that's a really good thing. And that's wow. something I think people should know about. I want to thank you no problem. for spending time with Smile TV Talk no Show. And you know what? You have a great smile. Thank you. <laughs> um, one question I do need to ask you. This is really, really important. Okay. If you get a chance to come back to Smile TV Talk Show, will you do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You heard him on tape. He said yes. <laughs> thank you again. of the Home Care Services Department, Miss Rebecca Snitzias. I love seeing her name and she's going to make sure that I pronounce it correctly. <laughs> did I do well? You did perfect. Thank you That's so great. much for uh, taking time out of your busy schedule mm -hmm. to talk with us. And um, tell our audience a little bit first of all about yourself and, and your background and where you're from. Uh, I am from Belleville, Illinois. I have worked in home care for 41 years. I started right out of college. This mm -hmm. is all I've ever wanted to do as a nurse. Wow. Um, I have worked in this area the entire 40 years. Okay. Uh, I would not trade it. I started with another home care agency that was um, the only one in town at the time. Mm -hmm. And I spent a lot of time uh, as a liaison between the East St. Louis hospitals and that home care. So right. I became very familiar with the people that worked here. You know what, we are finding out that a lot of individuals who are on staff mm -hmm. at Touche Regional Hospital are from the metropolitan area. Yes. Is that a plus for you? I think it is. I think you know all the ins and outs. You know um, what you can do, how to do it. Um, it's mm -hmm. just very enlightening. Um, we service three counties. Uh, Madison, St. Clair, and Monroe counties, and we have nurses that live in each of those areas. Wow. And so they, they not only know the area, mm -hmm. but they know the people. Good, good. And that helps. Tell us about the home care services and what services are actually uh, provided. We provide uh, services from birth to death, is what we say. Uh, we see moms and new babies up to um, the aged. Mm -hmm. We see them for all sorts of things, whether it's just a post hospitalization. Um, heart-related issues, surgeries, post-surgeries. We have uh, nursing. Okay. We have physical therapists, mm -hmm. occupational therapists, speech therapists, and we also have a social worker on staff. Okay, so have you found a great need in this area? 
Uh, very much so. Okay. Very much so. And are people um, interested in coming out or do you have to do extra reach out? And the reason I'm asking that is because a lot of times people um, don't like to get the services that they need. How do you entice them or increase their desire to be a part of what you do? Most of our patients are referred by their physicians and a lot of people are very comfortable with their physicians and their decisions. Mm -hmm. So we go out to see them uh, based on the doctor's orders. I see. If people are interested in getting in contact with you, how can they do that? They can contact us at 618-332-6120. Okay. Uh, that, that will reach our regular number and they can ask for intake. A lot of times when we ask for phone numbers, people are not really ready. And I did that because I want you to get ready. Get a pencil and paper out, a pen and paper, and write this information down because there are some great services within the home care department. And I'm going to ask her one more time while you go get your pen and paper to give you that information. Give your name again, um, your title, and how they can make contact with you. My name is Rebecca Schnitzius. My title is Director of Home Care. And our phone number is 618-332-6120. We're about to wrap up here, but I'm just wondering, is there anything that we did not get an opportunity to talk about that you would like to share? I just want to say that we go everywhere, anywhere. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to us. Um, we'll see anybody for anything. You know what, that's a great uh, slogan right there. She <laughs> said, we will go anywhere and see anybody and it doesn't matter. They want to help at mm -hmm. Touche Regional Hospital, home care services. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom had um, Alzheimer's and dementia mm -hmm. and I was telling Dr. Day on another um, interview, I wish I had known about some of the things that were going on here mm -hmm. because we need it, you know, and I didn't want to reach out, but you need to sometimes. Yes. Thank you again. And I just asked one of your um, co-workers on a previous interview, if they had the opportunity to come back to Smiles Television Talk Show, would they do so? Would you come back if you get the chance? Absolutely. She said, absolutely. We have her on tape. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you again. And you mm -hmm. have a great rest of the day. Okay. And I want to thank you for tuning in to Smiles Television Talk Show. Tune in every Monday. You don't want to miss the broadcast. Remember, only what you do for Christ will last. And keep smiling. You look better when you smile.